Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we're just going to be in here quick, fast, and in a hurry. I just want to say... Uh, job well done. I know I'm going to pronounce his name wrong. Is it Davidu? Uh, let's call him uh, Mr. D. Okay, Mr. D. Mr. D offers a full-time scholarship to an underprivileged student. Now, I know he is a Nigerian, Nigerian billionaire, more so coming from his dad's legacy and hard work and determination. And we know he is a, I don't say a rock star, but he's into rapping and he's done very well with his platform and his brand. Now, granted, he's much younger. He's Porsche age, I believe. And he's doing a darn thing. Now, this brother, he can dress, he can rap. He hell, he probably can sing and cook too, okay? But he does the most while this joker right here. I don't know what's going on with him because he can't even show his real face. You see what I'm saying? And Portia won't allow his real face to be shown. Okay? But this man right here and them cute little dimples. Oh, Lord. The brother is fine. Okay? He's fine, 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 fine. But he's doing the darn thing. He's giving back to his community, his culture, and he's doing something. Simon, on the other hand, uh, very lackluster. But like I said, when I see people doing good and they're uh, living an American dream and they're making it do what it do, I got to give it out to this brother. Okay, I got to give it to him. And he's young doing the darn thing. So I'm like, Simon, what have you given back? What have you given back to your culture? Okay, what have you given back? What have you donated? All right, what have you donated to the cause? Lord, 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 Lord. I tell you, everybody else be showing and proving. The only thing he's doing is uh, running behind Porsche ass. Okay? Trying to make it do what it does do. And we're still trying to figure out what the hell that is. Okay? But I just wanted to shine light on this brother. Okay? He has definitely shown and proved everything. When it comes to being who he is as a person, raising good stock and giving back to the community. But I get this article from the Kenzie blog, okay, N K E N Z I underscore blog, okay. She titles her article, Mr. D offers a full time scholarship to underprivileged students. Nigeria singer, Mr. D, known for his cheerful giving, has offered a full-time scholarship to, is it Monroe Solomon? Okay, he's a young Guyana student who scored all A's. All right, all A's for the West African Examination Council. Go on and do that darn thing, brother. This generous doing came after a tweet went viral detailing Solomon's inability to further his education despite doing well in his uh, WAEC curriculum. After the singer received the news, a young man was immediately contacted. Solomon has generously been awarded uh, this generous doing came after a tweet with viral detailing Solomon's inability to further his education despite doing well in his uh, WAEC. Um, I think that's something similar to the SAT and the ACT that we have. He scored very well, very high, but he didn't have the funds 
to attain his career choice, okay? It says, after the singer received the news, the young man was immediately contacted. Solomon has been awarded a four to five year scholarship to Adelik, A-D-L-E-K-E, Adelik, y'all help me with that, university, with full accommodations and allowances, including, according to it, the singer. Adelik University is owned by the singer's father and located in E-D-E, in Nigeria. Okay. But that would be a tax write-off, wouldn't it, y'all? That would be a tax write-off because if David's, uh, Davidu, uh, Mr. David's dad owns the university, then that's, we got to give honor and respect to his dad as well. Okay? Because it seems like from that last statement I read, is owned by the singer's father. So see, they, they, they come from good stock, okay? They make it to do what they do. They make it to rain on people all day long, okay? But I guess, hey, if you got it, flaunt it. If you can put it back into the community, you can put it back in your legacy, why not? Why not do it? But the brother got a four, years, four to five year scholarship depending on how quickly he'll come out of his training, of his uh, career training choice. But I just had to highlight, I said, yeah, okay, brother doing something, whether he got the funds or when he don't have the funds or he getting it from his daddy or whatnot, this young man was awarded a four to five year scholarship because he aced his, um, I, like I said, it's good, kind of equivalent to the SATs, ACTs, he must have scored a very, very high. And it would have been a disappointment if he didn't get to further his education. All righty. So kudos, kudos. Yes, kudos to um, this young man. And for Mr. Davido, 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 Davido. Is it Davido, y'all? Anyway, forgive me if I mispronounce his name. I didn't do it on purpose. I just don't, I can't pronounce people's names right here and there. But yeah, brother is number one. He's cool. Yes, he's very cool. And his jacket says, we rise by lifting others. That's right. Rise to the top like cream. Mm-hmm. But when you drive, dive in the swimming pool, you got to come back up. You rise up like a fish coming out the water. But I have to say, congratulations to both men. For looking back and pulling somebody else up from their boot strings, okay? And it happens to be the same uh, culture that you are in. That's even more beautiful. Teach one, reach one, teach one. Teach one, reach one. But um, I have yet to see what uh, Simon is doing. I think he gave a charitable contribution to Portia's uh, aunt which is uh, on her daddy's side of clothing, uh, Feed the Hungry, Feed the Hungry Coalition up here in Atlanta, Georgia. Jose Feed the Hungry was something established for uh, homeless individuals. Uh, Portia's grandfather got it, um, what do you call it? For lack of a better word. He constructed the organization uh, through federal government funds and things of that nature, but he really wanted to help uh, the underprivileged type, low-income people, and definitely the homeless association of people. Uh, he hated the poverty that Georgia had ran rampant, uh, rampant about in our area of living, and um, he, you know, I mean, he was considered a drunk whatnot, but the brother was very, very educated. Uh, you know how they say educated fool? That's pretty much how um, Jose Williams uh, Porsche's uh, grandfather was. He was a, you know, just a long drunk, but he had a lot of issues, I guess, you know, trying to uh, be there to fight for civil rights for the brown individuals, the minorities, and it probably led to a lot of 
sleepless nights and a lot of headaches. Okay, because they were actually going to jail. You know, they was uh, marching uh, for equal rights for all men, not just white men, Jewish men, not Asian men, but for all men. But we were our race, the black race, uh, African American race, however you look at us, were being done wrong. So they took a stand, okay? And it just goes on and on and on. But basically, before her grandfather died, he established a nonprofit organization called Jose Help Feed the Hungry. Uh, I believe uh, Simon may have given some type of charitable contribution to the nonprofit organization uh, because he was there. They were filming it when Portia had this show. We shall not mention the show. <laughs> but she damn sure don't mention it. It ain't, no, it ain't nowhere on her profile. So if you had one, you uh, photoshopped it uh, or uh, screenshot it, keep it because she don't have it nowhere on her platform saying she ever did that show. Okay? And we won't mention it either because it was just bullshit. And I can't believe uh, Bravo is even going to give her another show, even if it's a wedding special. We don't think she can pull that shit off. Without getting in a fight with somebody. You have to throw dishes, dice, plates, forks, spoons, and musical equipment at people. Okay? But I just wanted to give y'all this short little generous um, video to show that this man that Simon has been around uh, in, in Nigeria as well as over here in Georgia. Uh, and yet, he has done more for the culture than what Simon has done, okay? And if Simon has done anything that we need to know of, he need to let society know. So we can report good things. But right now, I am not liking the optics of his baby girl looking a certain way. Again, he's running around with Porsche style. And give first class treatment to baby girl PJ. See what I'm saying? I mean, she's worth it. Don't get me wrong. But if you're going to do one for one, you might as well do the rest for the others. Do the same for the rest of the other children that has to be around Miss Portia and Miss PJ. All right? That's all I got for this video, guys. Hope y'all like it and love it. But I am dead. I've been wearing these YouTube streets out. Trying to put out so much commentary for my family so they can get their chuckles, their kikis, and they are. Oh, I didn't think about that moment of thought, okay? But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.